Good morning, folks. We've got some key stories to hit today, but more importantly, links to check and other videos to watch, including one coming out later today. We're going to begin with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day very quiet. The failed bright active region is turning towards the limb. The coronal holes are confined north and south, while smaller dark patches do pop in and out at lower latitudes. The solar wind has the same story as yesterday. Similar variability spikes resembling cosmic ray errors, but even still, they are not erring into scary range and all geomagnetic conditions are quiet. So folks, we have been covering the record cold and snow coming to the states with the jet stream dip. Here's the next two and a half days and we not only see the system descend into the Rockies, but an Atlantic low spinning and stalling going to create inclement conditions on the coastline. By the way, that snowstorm does keep right on going through the daytimes in the forecast. Sun not able to erase the snowflakes. Let's go to the U.S. climate report for September as it came out yesterday. This is the minimum daily measures for temperature and then the maximums. We are going to look at these once again such that for the billionth month in a row, we see much more red and much less blue on the daily minimum charts. That's where the warming is, while the daily maximums are never quite as extreme. Up next, let's go out to space. The exterior bubble of the solar system, the heliosphere, meets the interstellar space of the galaxy and it is a dense and high pressure scenario. They use data from Voyager craft to help describe the boundary conditions, but also folks, their description of that boundary is one that could be applied to the sun and earth interaction. The forces of plasma, magnetic fields, and charged particles is far greater than they expected. Folks, you might recall that the identification of new moon populations around Saturn included both prograde and retrograde orbiters. Today, they say they have found 20 more in that cluster, which does take Saturn now ahead of Jupiter. Moon race is now Saturn 82, Jupiter 79. And chances are we do see Jupiter's more easily with it being closer, so if they discover more, it should be at Saturn. They say that it actually had a much bigger moon once that was destroyed via collision and created so many of the smaller moons, Saturn's children. Folks, the Nobel Prizes in Physics for the year have been announced, and the statement, oh, this really grinds my gears, really doesn't begin to cover it. Jim Peebles took half the prize on the left, while the two on the right shared the other half. You heard Peebles' name in our Plasma Cosmology movie. He is the one who took plasma out of mainstream cosmology, who tied the cosmic microwave background to the Big Bang, and solidified the dark matter domination of the universe. Three decades ago, he was almost solely responsible for thwarting the work of Peratt and Alphane, pushing it into the fringe realm of mainstream science. Well, of course, this is what our entire Plasma Cosmology movie was about, how his paradigm is massively flawed and unworkable, how the questions surrounding plasma physics have been answered over the last 30 years, and how modern science is slowly starting to realize the truth and fix it, but not before giving Peebles his Nobel Prize. Folks, whether you watch the full film Infomentary or the short, easy version we put out two days ago, you will get the idea. Last but not least, folks, a huge study on climate change attribution is out. It's a major review and will hold a great deal of weight until the next full IPCC report comes out in 2022. But alas, they are using CMIP5, the old data, not CMIP6, which has all the new solar particle forcing and cosmic rays. This is another example of a paper the field aimed to have be a big story, and they ignored the sun's total effect on purpose. Folks, just like we did with the plasma cosmology film, later today, the climate forcing made easy short film will come out. Again, it's going to be under 10 minutes and will especially help you in your conversations with others on this topic of climate change. By the way, at our store, otf.cells.com, you can really help support the cause. And not only did we get a ton of new sweatshirts in for the winter season coming in the north, but we also now have the PDF copy of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, second edition. The textbook is out of print, sold out, and the third edition is anticipated late next year, but for those who want to read along with the university classes this coming spring, we do have an e-copy for you. We greatly appreciate your support. Remember, Climate Made Easy, coming out later today. 
Your plasma resources are linked below as well. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. I'll see you in a few hours for the second video release of the day, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.